David Farrington Park in Wellington was the venue for the matchup fondly known as Well Classico, when Team Wellington hosted their crosstown rivals, the Phoenix Reserves. With the A-League team having a bye during the international window, it was an opportunity for Paul Temple to include six first-team players in his side to give them some much-needed game time. For Scott Hales, the two-all draw the previous week against Auckland City had given him a good indication of where his side were at in these early stages of the season. Not a great start to the match for Ollie Bassett. But it wasn't long before Team Wellington were applying the pressure with former Phoenix man Hamish Watson running in behind the defence to whip his shot just wide of Ollie Sale's near post. Watson's physical presence is a handful for most teams in the Premiership and he was again at the centre of the action shortly after. Finding space in the box, his header flashed wide with Sale scrambling. The crowd on the balcony were enjoying the Team Wellington dominance, and when Ollie Bassett fed Andy Bevan on the right, the Phoenix defence was backpedalling. A Bevan cutback, a Bassett shot come pass, a Watson tap in, and T-Dubs had the lead. The Bassett-Watson combination was then reversed to create the opening for Team Wellington's second. Watson drove into the box and whipped the ball through the defensive line to the oncoming Bassett, who had the simplest of finishes. Expect to see plenty more of those two linking up through the season. Watson had the taste and drew a good save from Sale after his first effort had been blocked. The break had the home team sitting comfortably with their two goal cushion. It was Watson that had the first real chance in the second half. He twisted away from his marker and then tried his luck with a bender from the corner of the box. Sale was grateful to watch that one go wide. Team Wellington maintained their dominance in the second half, getting their midfield forward, with Mario Barcia blasting wide from just outside the box. Ten minutes after half-time, the game took an unexpected twist. Ollie Bassett had his pocket picked, claiming a foul. Sam Sutton played a beautiful first-time ball to the unmarked Ben Wayne, who calmly rounded Scott Basile and slotted home. The Phoenix were back in the game and searching for their first points of the season. If Team Wellington have Watson Bassett, then the Phoenix have Sutton Wayne. From a seemingly harmless position, Sutton played a peach of a cross and found Wayne all alone at the back post. He did well to guide his header down, with Basile unable to get across in time. Team Wellington were galvanised into action. Andy Bevan had two headers to break the deadlock, but his first from Jack Henry Sinclair's cross was misdirected wide, while the second was more difficult under the pressure from the defence. To all it ended, with the Phoenix happy to get their season off and running, while Team Wellington will look back on their first half wastefulness. I thought that we were, we were good in the second half, apart from just two, two moments where... Uh, there's a, there's a there's, you know, in my opinion, there's a decision to make uh, on Ollie where there's a potential pullback of the shirt, but then you know a good finish and then gone to sleep for the second goal. So I'd say two moments where we where we slipped up and against uh, you know like a, a a good striker like Ben Wayne who's bagged both goals. It's uh, yeah, you can't make those can't make those mistakes. Yeah, look in the first half, I thought uh, we just weren't applying enough pressure on the opposition. Um, we've talked about getting into teams and putting them under pressure and I thought our shape was okay but we just weren't close enough to them and we give them too much respect. They played through our lines too easy and deserved to be ahead but at half time we just spoke about uh, almost throwing the tactical stuff out the window a bit and just getting higher up the pitch, closer to players and I thought it worked really well. We took our goals well, we were the better team probably for the first half an hour and then the last 15 minutes the game was quite even and I think a draw was probably a fair result in the end.